Chicago on a Saturday night. I was at my mother's house sleeping on the couch. You see, they charged me with a uh, delivery, premeditated, attempted murder. So I got him in the lineup. I didn't understand how I got him in the lineup. He just happened to pour me out. He gave me two life sentences, 25 life and 70 life. His attorney at the time, a very experienced trial attorney, wrote to us and called us and said, I've never done this before, but uh, I believe my client that was just convicted was innocent, and I would implore you to take a look at his case and work on this case. He was convicted of having shot a gentleman in the stomach, a fairly execution style type of shooting where he knocked on the door, verified the identity of the person as if it was a target, and then shot him in the stomach. It was quite clear to us from the evidence he couldn't possibly have done this. Overturning a wrongful conviction is hard, even when you've got a great case. It takes resources, it takes manpower, it takes intellectual power, it takes the right confluence of all those things to get a wrongful conviction reversed, even in the best of circumstances. And having a law firm like Hecker participate in that gives us that extra boost to be able to make it happen. So we were really fortunate in this case to have a great legal team. We had a terrific investigator, Keith MacArthur, working on the case. We couldn't have done the case without. And it took a tremendous amount of investigation and litigation to get the matter into court. Uh, once we got into court, there was a full-blown evidentiary hearing. But the craziest thing about it really is, in all truth, we were in this hearing with a completely innocent guy, and we were going to lose. And it was not just gut-wrenching, it was, I mean, it was, it, it stole sleep. You know, we would, I would lie in bed at night trying to think about who else we could be talking to or how else we could approach some of these people who weren't talking to us or if there was something else we could be doing, just knowing that Ronald's life was ticking by and we weren't making things go fast enough. Remember that shooting? Yeah. Were you there that night? Yeah. Do you know this guy, Ronald Ross? Do you know him? No. Was he there at the shooting that night? No. Did he have anything to do with it? No. We thought at the time that that tape recording would free Ronald. We sent that to the DA. We brought it to court. It didn't seem to influence the judge very much. We eventually got the elected DA, Nancy O'Malley, to listen to the tape and to review the case and to review the evidence. And she eventually pulled the plug on the conviction. Oh, it was a miracle. <laughs> Ooh, it, was, it was so much joy and happiness in my heart. It was just, it was a, just a whole lot of pressure that I was off my shoulder. My lawyers and them in, in uh, Innocent Project, I call them my Miracle 18. It's a good thing for them to be on your side.